today we are kind of getting it all done. You see Goldie, she's here too. It is, we're in week two, well the end of week two of summer. And if you saw my last video, you saw our holiday, like our summer vacation, which was amazing. And then this week, we, we basically, school got out, we went on vacation, we had family here, and then we've had a week of like VBS, and I've been working, Sean's been working, and you know, juggling all of the things. So what I will say is that if you are ever looking for like, a homemaking queen it ain't here um here we are you know sometimes not the best at keeping up with the house here we focused this week on feeding the kids every day and doing the dishes every night and putting in a load of laundry and that was it because work and the kids and all of that had to be priority so as I show you the befores of these rooms, we are entering a no judgment phase. If you are watching this video and thinking, oh, how, why, where, when, um, well, don't know. I, I'm not sure either, but what I will say is fun. You know, fun was had, fun was given, and my children made an entire fort that engulfed half of my home and they slept in it for three nights. And you know what? My younger kids that usually are fighting 85% of the time have not been fighting. I mean, they fight, but not like in the way that they don't play together. They're like playing together. So it is like, whatever, be in your world. Please let me be a part of it every once in a while. Working full time with three kids at home ain't no joke. All that being said, I'm basically prefacing this because it is a wreck, but here we go. All right, so the kitchen actually isn't that bad because I really have kept up with the kitchen because I have to cook every day, you know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I'm gonna put away the, la the laundry. This is not laundry. I'm gonna put away the dishes, clear off the countertop, and get things you know, looking a bit cleaner in here. And then we'll move on to the living room and dining room. So now that we're in the middle of summer, you know, it's one of those things where I love summer because it just frees up our lives a bit. It really allows us to have time together, choose the fun that we want to have for that day, or just choose to rest and relax. I think just like any season of your life, um, summer can either get away from you or you can embrace it and just let it be what it is. I think that we did a good job so far <laughs> of having a little bit of everything. You know, we signed up the kids for two VBSs back to get back, which were so fun and they really enjoyed those. And another thing that I typically do at the beginning of any break, I mean, spring break, winter break, summer break, is I create a to-do list for the kids and I put it in the middle of our kitchen. And that way, if they say I'm bored or if they say, hey, I want to have time on the screens, I say, did you get everything done on that list? If the answer is no, then do that and then come back to me and I'll check your work. Um, this has worked out really well as accountability for me as well as them. You know, I tend to be pretty lax on making the kids do a ton of things because I too have days where I don't feel like doing it all. So there are days where I can tell if the kids are just really wanting to just not do much. And I kind of say, Hey, just do your, your bed and brush your teeth, get dressed and help me out with the dishes. Uh, I was laughing this weekend because I had a little birthday party for Archie and one of the parents were over and I opened the cabinet and it was just, you know, to, to a parent or adults, 
you know, I, it looks like utter chaos, but it had been that my six-year-old had been putting away the dishes that week. So, you know, I really encourage if you struggle with that, like I do, and I do struggle with that, that's something that I am getting a lot better at is allowing them to just do the things, even if it's not perfect, even if it does not, you know, it's not up to my OCD standards. It's really important. Okay, I have to leave in about, how long? 35 minutes, 30 minutes, something like that. So, I'm gonna clean for another 10 minutes. I've only gotten, um, what's this? I've only gotten the kitchen tidied up so far. The funny thing is, I am kind of wishing for this mess right now because, oh my gosh, I'm sitting in my house right now after a weekend of birthday parties and did not do a lick of you know, any housework and it's a wreck. Also, am I the only person that while you're cleaning, like the depths of disgustingness that your family creates in your home, you know, it's like, there's some people that are like, Oh, I'm so blessed by this mess because of the children that are provided. Like I sing things like, y'all gonna mess the house. Yo, I'm gonna want this back. Like, even when it's like poop stains. Like, I'm gonna wish, I'm gonna wish I could mop this poop right up. You know, it's, I don't know, it only me? Is it just me? Okay, so now I'm gonna focus on tidying up this space. Just kind of putting away bags. I need to wash one of my little eh, bags over there. I need to clean up up here all the sunglasses and put away some of the paperwork that needs to go in the kids' um, memorabilia box. I'm gonna do the floors later. I'm not gonna get to that today. So here we go. Polly's shoes, so those need to go in her room. Archie's sandals, Polly's, and then Sean's sandals. And I need to clean this out. Like I said, I'm gonna do the floor later, but everything else looks pretty good. Looks much better. And this stuff is drying out. I'm really weird. Anyone else weird about like these kind of plasticky things being like completely dried out before you put them away. I don't know. I also found some more cups. So I've got to put those in the dishwasher. But for now, the kitchen looks much better, much cleaner. And I'm going to move on to the dining room and living room. And then I will catch up with you guys later when I'm doing more cleaning. Wanted to share with you guys our summer bucket list and then our summer to do. So I haven't made the kids do this every morning this week because they've had VBS, but when they get home, they do have to get dressed, brush teeth, and then they choose a daily chore. So there's that. But yeah, so they haven't had to do it in the morning, but they do have to do it to get their online time. So, or tablet time, whatever you wanna call it. Much better, oh, see you in a bit. So again, we aren't in judgmental zone. Keep in mind, I've been doing laundry and I haven't been folding it. I've just been doing it and then adding it to my mound. Ah! Um, okay, so here's not so bad. I do need to fold all of that laundry. So there's that. Everything else will be tidied in like maybe five to 10 minutes. And so not so bad. Um, the lanai looks good. I do need to go out and flower, water the flowers. Okay, that's my timer. I gotta get ready to go. 
And then this is a look at the playroom. Okay, so this is the playroom. <laughs> Cleaned it yesterday. I mean, look at even the TV. So this TV is like a swivel. You can swivel it to whatever you want it. So it gets all crazy. Oh, look how gross it is. Anyways, okay, you know, we had a couple accidents, so I had to wash the futon. Um, yeah, so we'll do this later. I've got to go. All right, y'all know what day it is. This particular day was a Friday. So we had fresh cut Fridays, which means that my husband brings home a bouquet of flowers from our favorite local florist. And I always make a little one for Polly for next to her bed too. So that's what we're doing here. Polly's showing you her change. She loves a moment on camera. So we like to give that to her. <laughs> It really is incredible what just a bouquet of flowers will do for you. You know, just brighten my mood right up. And here's Polly. She's so cute. And then I go on to show you the progress of the playroom. Looking great. Just needed to put the futon back together. And then the living room, I got it all cleaned up. And the dining room still needed to tackle the mound, which I will get to in a minute. And then Polly wants to show you her room. Wow, baby. <laughs> You did so good. Oh, and you made your beds. Not that one. Okay, well this bed looks cozy. I'm sweeping that one there. We love it. So as you can see, Polly chose helping me fold the laundry as her chore for the day. So we were just listening to music and folding away. It really helps to bring that energy into it. I really do not like putting away laundry so luckily the boys did that as their chore and so they put all the laundry away uh unlock a new paradise of parenting when your kids can help you out with house tasks all right i hope you guys like this we'll see you next time love your faces